Hey guys, this is Noob Nerd here, and today, as by the thumbnail, I'll be talking about why I love on my blog so much, and just giving my thoughts, similar to how I did my thoughts to Luke Cage in my last video. And this will contain spoilers, but I strongly suggest you watch the series if you haven't yet. It's so, so, so good. It's just, it just grips you from the very beginning. And it's just a mix of different genres. I like to say that it starts off as a comedy, but then by the end it becomes a, a drama. And then all in between that is the com coming of age aspect. And it's just, it's just melded in brilliantly. And... The premise says as they begin high school, but that's not really the focus. It's about their lifelong friendship, as it says on the, on the synopsis. And it's these four characters, well, up to five if you count Olivia. It's just their dynamic is what gets you into the show. And that drives... They, the writers know that, and they just focus on them. Focus on them outside of school, inside of school. It doesn't matter. Their problems, their insecurities, their love for each other is what drives this series forward and it really just it really grabs you by the throat and be like this is this is this is life like it sounds like I'm just going into a tangent but I'm just so it's so realistic yet so engaging at the same time and it it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't center anything it doesn't it doesn't go exaggerated it just well it does exaggerate a bit but with Le, uh, Jamal, but we'll get in that in a bit. But it just, it doesn't, it doesn't flatter with you, flat, uh, I can't explain it, it doesn't flatter you with anything, it just gives you, it just shows you what it is and d n never le lets go of that. And it's, it takes place in rough inner city Los Angeles and it doesn't, and it gives you the good sides, the bad sides, the, we just, and how they cope with that. And we're going to start with characters such as Monse. Uh, well, um, actually, no, wait, the fact that these characters are diverse, that's just a cherry on top for me. And it shows that anybody can go through these problems, and there's dangers to be had. And we'll talk about the dangers at the end of, again. Uh, to, we'll be starting with Monse and Caesar's relationship. Uh, debatable if they're actually allowed to be together. I don't know about the ages, I think they're just about legal to have sex. But you, you feel for their, you feel for their, like... They 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 clearly in love with each other to some respect, but they keep on pulling each other apart. They keep on pulling each other back in, and yeah, they're so insecure. Caesar himself about the gang, and Monse herself about being involved with this relationship in the first place. Not trying not to displease her mates, which is always a good topic to be had in shows, and if, if that's if that happens. That happens a lot when you... Do, do you want to please everyone? Do you want to just be yourself? Do you want to find out who you really are? At the, at the expense of finding out the truth? And the truth when she finds out... That's just... That's so hard hitting by the end. Her mother's only there for a few... What well, one episode I think. But it really gets you. It really gets you. It's so heartbreaking. And hopefully we see more of the, that kind of thing... In the next season. Hopefully they develop on the mother. Maybe the mother comes back. After finding out that she... That she had a daughter. Well, maybe I don't know if she had... She, she must have knew that she had a daughter with the gang person. Uh, Not Little Ricky. Probably... Is it Little Ricky? Well, no, no, no. Oh, no, the dad. She was once part of the gang. It's just the gang culture as well. And gang culture is not all that bad. Not everyone in the gang is bad. As we see for Caesar. And his relationship with uh, Spooky. Spooky starts off as... This, uh, you can tell he's a bad character, but he's funny in some places. But by the end, you see his relationship with Caesar and why Caesar respects him so much. And sometimes that's a good thing, and but most of the time that's a bad thing, especially by the end when you got the gun, and he's trying to kill Latrell, and that just ends up in a whole different storyline. And that could have been done so poorly. That could have been felt. That could have felt bad. But these characters, you felt for these characters. Like the ending could have felt so much more worse than it was. But it felt so good and so, and felt so right at the same time. Because you saw the seeds of that being planted throughout. And uh, despite the comedy, despite the coming of age, there was dangers. And this happens in the neighbourhood and people got to know this stuff happens a lot. 
Like, not, not even, like, a couple of times, and especially in America. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't know, but in America, there seems to be a lot happening. And, of course, not just America, in UK, everywhere. That these kids having a good life, trying to do the best they can, get caught up in stuff they don't want to be caught up in. But sometimes they themselves choose to be in part of... Uh, part of uh, journeys that they want to be part of, then realising that it's, it really gets you. It really can affect you mentally, as well as physically. And Caesar, of course, we see him shades of uh, the intelligence with him wanting to do the math class. I wish we saw more of the high school, but once again, the high school is not really the most interesting bit. But with Caesar specifically, I wish we saw more of him being good in school, just to reinforce the idea that this guy can go to college, can go to university, but he's getting dragged back down after, from his uh, to his gang life, that is, the Santos, that has happened. For multiple generations or multiple decades as we see from little Ricky and Jamal's whole subplot and let's go on to Jamal uh, he, he starts out just as the he just starts and he uh, it's so meta as well because he acknowledges himself that he's just there like he's just the miss he's just the other guy you know what I mean he's not really involved in anything and he strives to be part of something bigger than himself and that's again a really relatable topic and it really and by the end, that really drives you to him. At the start, you just think of him as just this funny guy who keeps on faking his injuries. The classic, oh, secret from his parents. But then it turns it on his head, and his parents don't really care. Well, they care, but they're like, they get over it. Oh, that's the classic thing, isn't it? It's cliche, but by the end, you see him developing, just becoming a bit a bit crazy in the prospect of trying to find this Roller World money. And he does it, but without realising what has happened <laughs> by the end. I'm, I'm just, it's ridiculous. So Jamal, he really develops into a character of his own by the end of the season. So that's cool. I like his relationship with the uh, Ruby's grandmother as well. That's cool. That was a very good comedy dynamic. And we, and as much as we like to see kids not being pleased with their grandmothers and be like, oh, they're boring and stuff. But so, sometimes that happens when they really connect with elderly people and, and getting to know their stories of what happened in the past. And that eventually is the start of what happens to him throughout the season. Uh, Ruby, of course, we can't go, we can't leave this discussion without talking about Ruby, and of course Olivia as well, but Ruby, he's just, he, he could, he's, he's the same person throughout, but he just, he learns to be a bit more kinder, a bit more kind as the, as the series progresses, and that, that eventually is unfortunately his downfall by the end, we'll see if he actually is dead by the end after being shot, and of course his, Relationship with Olivia it's again starts off in the comedy. It was so funny that oh that scene when he's like he's literally just masturbated and he comes out and he thinks he's gonna have sex but he's not. Oh, it's so funny like that really that I was uh just some context. Me and my mom, my mom was watching didn't watch the first episode. She watched the second episode with me. Just just like you know when your mom just walks in and she really she's really laughing at that and stuff because she's a teacher and she kind of knows how kids work. And she and and from that episode, that episode two, episode three range, when Jamal, well, Olivia and Ruby were having that such good chemistry or comedic chemistry, that she came on board. And this is not just for kids, teenagers. This this show can be for anyone. It's very. It appeals to all demographics, in my opinion, from the diversity, ages, themes being presented, comedy, just all that. And Ruby, he's just. He reminds me of a lot of people while also being his own different character you don't see a lot in shows. So yeah. Uh, Olivia, of course, she's like the girl, she's the a girl, she she disrupts everything in the friendship. She's almost like the audience coming into their lives just as they're becoming a bit more chaotic and stuff. Her parents have been deported. I wish we saw more emotional backlash with that, but we saw that at the end, of course. But I wish we saw more of her parents. But of course, next season, of course, we'll see. Is she dead herself? I don't know, man. And at the start, she's presented as just the girl she ne Ruby needs to get. But by the end, you see she has a character. So they're all character arcs in their own right. But they're all interwoven so greatly. And even if you're not into this one subplot with Roller World, which I wasn't really into, it affects the other characters. So then you, you care about it to some extent. You're always glued to the screen. Even if you don't find the jokes funny sometimes. Like, because in my opinion, by the end of the series, the jokes are not as good as the start, but that's not, I think, I don't, but that's not necessarily a dragging it down. 
You just you just care about these characters. They did the groundwork so good that it pays off. That's what you need to do. Get these characters into your heads and just relatable, funny, problems, setup, and it all just it just all explodes in your face. But in a good way. So good. Um have I got anything to say? I wish we saw more of the parents, but one scene in particular was with uh, Monse's father scene, when he was talking about when he was having a heartfelt moment. That was cool. I wish we see more of that. Uh, Latrell turning out to be a former classmate. Uh, we could see uh, flashbacks to see what happened with him because he seemed to be a uh, well, excuse my language. Well, not uh, excuse my language, a dickhead. But then we see. When he's in gunpoint, you see his insecurities and he's not as... Maybe he, he, he himself has been caught up into his gang life without realising it. And he used to be a friend of C Caesar as well. And he got... And of course, by the end, I think most people... I've seen other videos, people are like, Latrell should die. And I'm like, no. But of course, we'll see what happens with him. He's a good character. I hope you see more of him. Uh, Chivo's just weird, like with his like little gnomes and stuff. The thing is, there's probably people like that who just really like gnomes so much, like too much, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, what else? No. Well, we see that at the start of the series, you see Ruby's brother, or someone's, not, not Caesar, uh, but someone's brother. No, it is Ruby's brother. He goes to like, un he's going to like university and he's just broken up his girlfriend, he's just setting up all these characters be like high school's not the best it's so bad but of course high school but of course that kind of tricks you tricks you into thinking oh this is another high school story i think we ha had enough high school stories for once i think this is the this is the hood at its finest and worst at the same and it's just it's just so good and they've renewed the series as it should and i can't wait for more thank you guys for listening be sure to watch it if you haven't yet. On oh, my block, so good. I, I didn't expect to be watching this kind of show, but I did, and it was so worth it. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.